Hey guys, Dan with Elk Shape. We're on the Elk Shape Gear channel. This is the channel dedicated to vetting, testing all sorts of brands and gear. Some brands I work with, others I don't, but this is just 100% gear, 100% of the time. Today, I'm talking about a brand that I've been running for the last two years straight, Numa Outdoors. They're based in Texas. Let's break down their lineup. Here we go. This is the Alpha Vertex pants. It's got this fleece liner. This is definitely something I would wear in October, November. I can even zip it and put it over an extra pair of pants because it's got a zip on both sides that goes all the way up. This is awesome. If you definitely like glassing in October, November, even December, this is for you. The stitching is awesome. It's true to size. Order the exact waist size you are. I'm a 30, 32, that's what I order. You don't need to size up or size down. And they got a lifetime warranty on their stuff. And this is the Kaza Breakup. This is the Gunnison hoodie. You can get it in Kazo or a solid. I love the scuba hood on this. You can wear it for stocks. It's a quarter zip. You have a pocket in the side and you have kangaroo pouch in the bottom here. There's no zippers on these, but you can definitely benefit from keeping hand warmers in here. It's a great mid layer. It's a little bit heavier than a normal mid layer weight, which is why it always ends up in my pack. Aha, yes, the base havens, bottom and the top, which is a quarter zip. This is a, like a blend of merino and poly. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. On the inside, you got that merino. It's gonna help wick away moisture from your body. Don't leave home without this, especially mid to late season. These are your base havens. This is the Selkirk jacket. This is a heavy duty jacket. I would definitely tell you right now, it's, it's more for that late season. Uh, this is gonna be your last layer. You have matching zips on the chest. You have one pocket on the side here, and then you also have ventilation. Anytime you have a big, heavy layer, you wanna be able to ventilize it if you are moving and grooving. So you got vents out here on the sides as well. So double vents on both sides, which is going to be huge when you're hiking and you don't wanna get sweaty because that'll still heat away from your body. You'll have a very challenging time. Reinforced shoulder pads where your backpack straps go over, reinforced elbows, great hood that can flip up and you can take it down in the back for you tree stand guys. It's got access to your safety harness in the back. It's not the quietest layer they have, but all in all, a very good late season whitetail jacket. 3L rain gear, probably the lightest and definitely the quietest rain gear on the market. Nothing sucks more than putting rain gear on and feeling like you're out of the game because you're whoosh, 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 every step you take, especially as a bow hunter. This is the quietest, most packable rain gear on the market in my opinion. It has ventilation in the armpits, of course. It zips up and I, I mean, if you're gonna have to choose between a top and a bottom, I'm always gonna choose the top, but it's so light and packable. I always have the rain gear jacket from the 3L packed in the bottom of my pack, just in case you don't wanna get wet because it's hard to get dry, especially when you're already sweating and working hard in the mountains. But this is definitely a magnificent rain pant because it can go right over the top and it's easy to take on and off, which is pretty much par for the course. If you have rain gear, you should be able to put it over the top of your pants without having to take your boots off. And in this instance, you do not have to do that. The 3L is very packable and I do think it is the quietest rain gear on the market. Completely rainproof, waterproof. I've tested it through many rainstorms. This is one of the best things that Numa makes. All right, what do we have here? Oh yes, the Pursuit zip off pants. So sometimes you're hunting and it's hot and you're gonna take a break or maybe you're gonna sit a water hole. You can zip right here and turn these into shorts. Or you can start out in the mornings when it's maybe cold and then if you're hunting like high country desert and you know those temperature swings are massive, you can peel down to just a short. Again, the waist is true to size, so order exactly what you are. You got a zip in the back and then in the front, you have two which your cell phone will fit in both pockets and right here in the front. This is a great option, especially for early season archery hunting. This is the Pursuit Pant Quarter Zip. All right, we have some Renegades. This is the Renegade Quarter Zip. It's a great long sleeve. I would put this next to skin in the early season or over your base haven. You can also get it in a short sleeve and a just long sleeve if that's your option. I will wear this next to skin a lot in September and it fits true to size. If not, maybe order a size down. This is a medium and it's kind of baggy on me. Usually mediums fit fairly tight. Alpha Vertex jacket and vest. This is the vest. This is part of a layering system. This was built with bow hunters in mind. It's extremely quiet, soft. You have the fleece liner. It zips up. 
If you're like me, I love a vest because you can wear kind of a long sleeve base haven or renegade long sleeve and then have this over, keep your core tight and you can take this off easily. Fits in the bottom of your pack. This is from that Alpha Vertex line. This is the pant for out west. In my opinion, this is the pursuit pant. The best thing about it is the knee pads. They do come in and come out if you like. I never take them out. I'm on my knees crawling around in the desert chasing antelope, high country elk, mule deer. And so this is not an obnoxious knee pad that feels like it's weighing you down or gonna make you sweaty. It's just perfect. You have an articulating knee and it's definitely a material that is abrasion resistance. You're not gonna put holes in these like other pants. Pockets on the front and here on the back. You have matching uh, pocket on your right butt cheek. And these are just the pants I've worn the most while hunting elk. And so I have a few of these and uh, they hold up really well to the brush, to the open country, to the cactus, anything prickly. And they got the knee pads, which are removable, but I keep mine in. Alpha Vertex jacket. This jacket was made for bow hunters in mind. And so the sleeves are not going to stick out. So your string's not going to hit. You can see it's tapered sleeves. They thought about you bow hunters at full draw. So you can definitely pull your bow back and know that your string's not going to hit your sleeve. It's got a great hoodie for stocking and it's quiet with the fleece inside. The Alpha Vertex jacket. This is definitely my favorite outerwear during September when it's cold. Big old pockets in the front. Made with bow hunting in mind, Alpha Vertex jacket, this is a must. The Palisade Puffy, I'm gonna tell you right now, order a size up, so I usually wear medium and everything. This is a size large. This is the most outer layer. It comes with the bag like all puffy, so you can pack it up into something about like this and put it in the bottom of your pack. I personally never leave home without a puffy. I've been on the mountain when it's snowing August 31st. It's nice to pull out a puffy. If you can't start a fire, at least get warm. Or if you get really, really sweaty or really cold, wet, and you need to dry out, you can put your puffy on and keep moving and it'll dry all your layers out on the inside. Palisade puffy, probably one of the better pieces probably something I would not skimp. Again, order a size up and you can get it in solids or Kaza. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, in fact, I think this is one of the things doesn't get enough recognition is the heated core system from Numa. So you can put this on as a base layer vest, put this as a base layer pants. It's got this little strap to go over your feet and then your boots underneath. Right here is where you'll put your battery. It's a lithium battery you'll plug in. Here are your batteries, just plug into a wall. They hold a charge pretty much all day, especially if you have it on low. But all you'll do is you'll put your plug in and then you can slip it in here. I use this all whitetail season and I'll even if I'm backpack hunting or hunting out of the truck and it's getting down to almost zero degrees, I'll put my heated core system on and I'll sleep with it on in my sleeping bag. It's a little hack if you're skinny and get cold, hold that down. You can see that it is on right now and then it takes seconds to heat up. To turn off, you just hold on and it'll just turn off on its own. The vest works the same way. So a lot of times when I'm deer hunting, I'll put, I'll plug this in and then the last two or three hours of your sit is when, especially like an all day sit deer hunting, man, when that temp, when that sun finally starts going down, temperatures drops 20, 30 degrees and you're holding absolute steel for a whitetail, you're gonna go ahead and press this on and this is gonna light up your world and they work in conjunction together. So this is the heated core system, doesn't get enough credit. Also, I have a discount code for all this NUMA stuff. The discount code is ELKSHAPE20. Go to the store, check out. You can get any of the things we talked about and you'll save 20% off. And we just love NUMA gear, been running the last couple years. I think they're an up and coming brand. Be on the lookout, check out some of their gear. We appreciate your support. Tap the sub. This channel is dedicated to just gear. If you have stuff you want us to check out, review and test and vet, let us know in the comments below. We appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.